Hey, guess what? New study. New study. Breaking. A new Icelandic study shows COVID reinfection rates rise with the number of vaccine doses. What? The study shows that for most age groups, those who have received two doses or more are more likely to become reinfected than those who have received no vaccination or one dose. Wow, wow. says the doctor. She's a doctor. She's a doctor. She's a lawyer. She's a warrior. She's the founder of America's Frontline Doctors. Those are the people who buck the trend and risk their reputation to actually treat people with COVID instead of doing nothing, which is what Fox, the establishment was telling them. So here's the study she's referring to. JAMA. Again, sounds like a great band. It's not. That stands for the Journal of American Medicine Association stuff. And it's from JAMA. Published in JAMA, not Pajama. The rate of SARS-CoV-2 reinfection during an Omicron wave in Iceland. Okay, and here's all the doctors that participated in it. And what's the interesting part for our show? Here's the part that's interesting for our show. Surprisingly, this is in the results. Surprisingly, two or more doses of vaccine were associated with a slightly higher probability of reinfection compared with one dose or less. A slightly higher probability of infection. This finding should be interpreted with caution because of limitations of our study, which include the inability to adjust for the complex relationships among prior infection, vaccine eligibility, and underlying conditions. I'm going to read that to you again. Surprisingly, two or more doses of vaccine were associated with a slightly higher probability of reinfection. This is comedy at this point. This week we saw a uh, quadruple vaccinated Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and the what was it the CEO of, of Pfizer was it? Yes. Who, who both tested positive for COVID and and Jill Biden too. And Jill Biden and Joe Biden just getting over a second round after the Paxlovid. Uh, here's some more. I'm going to give you some more info from this article. This is it. I don't know how. It, I just want to make sure because YouTube will take my channel down if I don't give enough context. So I'm going to give you this. It says, importantly, by December 1st, 2021, all persons aged 12 years and older were eligible for two or more vaccine doses free of charge. 71.1% of the Icelandic population had been vaccinated, compared with only 25.5% of our cohort of previously infected persons. So I don't know what this means. I don't know what a cohort is. I don't know what they're doing comparing. I, I'm too dumb to figure that out. Uh, but I'm going to give you this. I'm going to read it to you because I need to give you context. Our results suggest that reinfection is more common than previously thought, A. And now the key question is whether infection with the Omicron variant will produce better protection against Omicron reinfection compared with other variants. That's what we need to find out. <laughs> but here's the important part. <laughs> Surprisingly, and there, there it is from here. And there's the paper. There's JAMA. Um, is this a preprint or is this a. Uh, so it's not there's no site. To, I think this might be this might not be peer reviewed yet. Isn't that when you put it in JAMA so then it gets peer reviewed? So I, I think it's maybe in the process right now of the uh, reviewing by the peers. Uh, anything you'd like to say about this, uh, Jackson? Yeah, I'm curious because you followed all of this much closer than I have. Obviously, no one's ever going to come to you and say that you were right about this stuff. You know, you're not going to have Jenk you were saying that you're right about all this. But what do you think? of? Oh, son of a gun. Jump desk. Within the medical community. I, I froze, didn't I? Yeah. yeah what uh, do I think? think? What do you think about people like Peter McCullough and Robert Malone? Do you think that they are going to, I, I mean, like their careers were ruined essentially, like in in the eyes of the medical community, they they just they just like tarred and feathered them. What do you think is going to happen in the medical community? How they're going to look at people like uh, McCullough and Malone? Well, I don't know about their reputation, but it's, uh, they certainly did try to discredit them and slander them and ruin their reputations, which they did a good job of that. But they still have careers. Dr. Robert Malone is the guy who invented the mRNA vaccine technology. And uh, uh, Peter McCullough is the most uh, published 
a doctor in his field. So these aren't lightweight. So these guys aren't going to go away because Dr. Fauci, a pissant with no fucking expertise in anything, tried to smear them with their bought media. So they're I, not going away. Yeah. So they're still doing good work. Uh, Dr. Peter McCullough is still out there on the front lines every day telling the truth about COVID and our COVID policies. And so is Dr. Robert Malone telling the truth about the vaccines. So they're still. I'm, so I'm, will they ever get will they ever be welcomed back in the polite bought society of medical? Who knows? But I don't think they care that much. Yeah. Oh, this fucking goddamn. When you look at it's I I froze, didn't I? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I said, I said, I, I agree with you. I don't think they care about being in polite society either or else they wouldn't have stuck their neck out in the first place. But they've been vindicated. And now the question is, will will people, you know, say that they were right or no. will they try to continue to condemn them? Because, you know, as Bill Gates says, you got to think about the next pandemic that they're going to yes. you know, be talking about. And the next emergency youth authorization vaccine yes. they're going to push on us because that's what this is coming from. Again, they're not going to wait 10 years like they normally do for vaccines. They're going to push a brand new one, get emergency use authorization, and then everybody's going to make their couple hundred billion dollars before we find out what the real effects of it are. And that's what's happened with this one. That's certainly what's happened now. Um, and no, no will ever admit that I was right. They're still going to always call me an anti-vaxxer. And it's it's crazy to say, oh, Jimmy uh, said one thing about the vax, then he got injured, then he looked into it, found out they were lying, and then he started reporting that. They just act like I just decided to switch to make money. It's just like, again, the reason why people watch this show is because they know I'm telling them, I'm talking from my heart, and I'm being honest and candid. That's why people watch this show. Well, the reason why people don't watch those guys' shows like the Young Turks is because they took $24 million from big pharma people. And they don't know anything about COVID or the vaccines yeah. or Syria or Venezuela or Ukraine or anything. They literally quoted Katzenberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, in one of those articles you put up on the screen. Yes. That's who, that's who Jink took money from. That's, who, that's right. That's, that's exactly right. Hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there.